We had a few guests via uh, some of the organizers here who are throwing balls into the stands. You get to have one, especially retrofitted road tennis balls, and everybody wants a piece of it. Yeah, it's great that the PRTA really showed that there is the strongest development in road tennis. Yes. And everybody wants to get this ball because they want to play in the different neighborhoods. They want to get a feel for what it's like to have the PRTA specially branded ball in their hands because remember over the past couple of months they've been able to develop this ball specifically for road tennis because we had to move away from the original tactics of skinning the lawn tennis ball which was really not the legal way but we were using it for a while and as the sport starts to develop we had to take things seriously and kudos to the PRTA for taking the right steps to get this ball created near the kind of texture and quality of uh, the Wilson ball but it's not all almost there's not a hundred percent there it's about 70 or say percent there but it's a good tactic but yes you play with the best out of the worst there are not all the pen one balls that play good you know it's just like the the, the PRTA balls some of them play good some of them play bad you just have to adjust to the ball instead of worrying about the ball look at everybody that was quarreling about the ball they came and played the tournament and now they're at finals. Mm -hmm. So right about now we've got Mr. Dale yeah, Mr. in the Dale house of our musical night. presentation. So Mr. Dale is gonna sing a few songs for us here. So Mr. Dale is perhaps gonna give us a treat from 2016, cup over. Yeah, he's a very good person. He was all, also a table tennis champion. A man from the Deacons community as well? Yeah, he's also from Deacons community, but he went to Queen's College. Very intelligent guy. And very respectable guy. And of course, Mr. Dale has entered Street Soka on so many occasions. Loving his songs. So here he is going at it. So let you take in the sights and sounds.
So a wonderful performance by Mr. Dale. I'm sure warming up the crowd for what's to come. Just about two minutes to go before 10 o'clock here in Barbados and the Eastern Caribbean. If you're joining us on the Number World Wide one Web. International table tennis player Dale Clark. Well, you said it yourself. And uh, I'm sure those on Facebook are keen to know. Oh, Dale Clark, um, Dale, Dale Rudder. Dale, Dale Rudder. Dale Rudder, Dale Rudder. Sorry. They understand oh, Dale what you mean. Okay. Dale. So, uh, Dale he's good tennis Big player. finale now coming. <laughs> Round of applause for Anton Lilman, Danny, who makes his way to the court. His serious screen there. And who's the coach in this corner? It's Titan Paroch. That is the guy that traveled with him for many years from time he was a youngster coming up. Power Roach bring out him and Charles Griffith. They were n top players. I remember when he won the A and the B tournament, the, 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 the juniors and the seniors. And Sir Garfield Sober said to him, this is a seniors tournament now, after he collected the junior prize. But he both been all to the only player to ever do it in history, win juniors and seniors at his age. So that's to show how natural he is as a raw tennis player. Here comes Mark Venom Griffith as his father. And who has been at his side for many of the titles he's won so far. Oh yeah. His father showed that he likes Serena and her sister goes and watch her his daughter's play. He makes sure he's there when he wins the big titles. Shares in the excitement, the jubilation. Will tonight be the same as the two players touch rackets? That's for photo op, but it's business now. $60,000 vehicle at stake. This is business. No words can explain the tension. It's the grand stage. And the introductions, the crowd, applause. The defending champion now being introduced. Mark Griffith, applause him as well. He looks a focused individual right now. The assignment looks grand. Daniel, he says, don't let that stomach fool you. Fit as a fiddle. Is that true? Anton Daniel? Yes. Yeah, Anton Daniel right now is fit because if you go to five games with Michael Jackson, the number two player, who's very fit, I think you could go five games with Venom too coming out here to play for care these guys is not going to let go so easy you would know when the player get beat where they, they, they go out there and play it at least you know 19 to 16 you see the tenderness in their face and you know sometimes they spoil make too much errors inside of the game 
and that's where the player that down comes back in the game and beat you. So we're good to go. Three best in five. Set and ready to go. Just one moment. On the line, the official, a bit delayed. They remember he was supposed to be in place. Now they're good to go. Love serving love. Venom will serve first. They start to feel their way out. Back arms, forearm push from Daniel into the net. Love serving one. Very good evening to our Facebook family. Welcome you to coverage from the BET, the old BET sports complex being used as a road tennis arena this evening. It's Venom with the early advantage so far. Daniel looking to play his hand in, just misses his mark. Two serving one. So quickly. This one looks to shape up like a key contest. No missiles unleashed just yet from Daniel. Goes long with the forearm scoop shot. Two serving one. And it's quick pace at the moment. Military style. They're moving quickly along these two. Not wasting any time as he Venom looks correct with that back arm, shaping it, moving it. Just away again is Daniel. So the initiative on the momentum now if well, the game is still yet young. You cannot call nothing from here. Mm -hmm. It's now 1-4. One one we still four. have mm -hmm. time to get into the game and go forward. But this, first game, this first game will tell everything from here because Anton and Daniel have to win this first game to keep this set alive. And that is Griffith with the arrow this time. So as Daniel comes back into his own now, serves now. That service looking good. It goes for a forearm drive, then goes for the injection. Here it comes, Griffith in this side of court. Oh, that's a that one may be away. Is it in? Oh, my goodness. Venom asking a few questions. The crowd erupting, loving the shot. Nobody you cheer, I'm asking for quiet. Get hurt. This is three serving five. Three, seven, five. Everybody excited about the shot. See, came into the court and he looks to shift. Venom going across his body that and it looks so good. Clearly on the court. Let's wait and see. This time it's long. Four, seven, five. Daniel in business right now. Zoned in. Here's Daniel with the service. This is the second Brian Lara that is playing. Let's go across the court again. Finds the advertising. Six serving four, the service changing. It'll be Venom to serve to Anton Daniel. If you're just joining us on Facebook, you haven't missed anything major. This is the opening game of this crucial three best of five set. It's Daniel flowing with the back arm, just off the top of the net there from Venom. Goes long. His name is actually. Mark Griffith, nicknamed Venom, and his opponent considered a big man, but nicknamed a little man. So just waiting on the umpire's call. Is there a challenge? Asked by Anton, a challenge there from Anton. Very good call by the scores. The ball was out. Stevie so. Wonder would have seen that. Seven serving five, back to normal proceedings, but Daniel spoils it with his back arm. Eight serving five. So that's the umpire. Referencing a few, a few other players. So a few of the players uh, made motion into the spectators, asking them to just shift. It's a little bit back to normal proceedings now. Daniel goes for the forearm cross court, beats his man. He went motionless there, stuck in the mud was Venom. 
Yeah, that's a lovely shot by Antoine, just coming off the top and just hitting that ball through Venom back arm and Venom did not see it at all because if he had seen it, he would have gone to her. I could tell you, the traffic was going one way. Now he's back to play, Daniel looking to square up and going cross court once again. He looks so agile when you see him playing. He gets around the court really nice and arcs his shots to shape away from his opponent. It's a beautiful craftsman of it. Once again, that, that's lovely. Oh that's textbook. Gorgeous. That is what is called shots. High bat lift and just punching that ball through Venom back arm. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Oh my word. You Beautiful said it correctly. Play. Beautiful. This is Daniel now's service. There's a lot more goes for the injection. Here's Venom quickly there. Long different. Daniel. Seven. Serving. Ten. So Daniel down by three. Off the top of the net and out. Down by four and out. Seven serving eleven. So here is Daniel with the service. Goes to the back arm, chips his shot, then ships at the goal. But defensively oh, done by Bella, but magnificent oh, straight drive. Oh my goodness. Was it away? Let's hear the call. Was that away? Say 7-12, so it had to be. Yes, yeah, 7-12. I think the ball was good. So is Daniel still there punching as he likes going for his shot? Venom keeping active. And his shift. He almost broke his ankles. My word. That was file number 13 of the textbook of niceness. I could tell you here tonight, if he get warm up and keep moving his feet like that and hitting the ball, Venom going to be in tremendous trouble. But I think so. You cannot rule out Venom. He's one of the strongest defenders that the earth ever see. I he can just, tell you. Well, I tell you, he must need ankle surgery after that because he went in one direction and Daniel was looking at another. It was that good. So, 12 serving 9. Where right about now? Venom still has the edge. Yes, his coach actually wanted to bring home this big prize too. So there's Daniel keeping his eyes on that prize. Here's Venom now. Daniel quickens his pace, gets... Griffith into a mistake. 12 serving 10. So that cushion has been ripped apart right about now by Danny, who's come surging back with a flourish of shots. Plays it deep into Venom's back arm and unfortunately spoils it. So the momentum broken. So 10 serving. So 13, 13 serving 10 now. The back arm of Daniel moves in from left to right. Quick little drop shot from Daniel. Checks his shot. There's Venom. Venom going with a pass and oh, shot. And rattles shot off Venom. the forearm. Beautiful shot from Venom. You know you would not see Venom playing those shots regular, but when he plays one and it come on, it does be a very good shot from him. Venom says, copy that. I'm reading you. That one long from Daniel as well. 10 serving 15. It's Daniel will serve. Serves. Back arm from Venom into the net. 11 serving, 15. Anton Daniel. Number three seed against the number one. Cross court. And there is Venom reaching for it. Really was too quick for I could, him. I could tell you, all, the, all the, the attackers that I see in life, I saw Limp Richardson. I saw Blackdale Richards. I saw a lot of different attackers. This man is extraordinary. Goes long there. 12 serving 16. A bit of a slip there from Venom. Masters his strength once again, powers of concentration. This is Daniel now. Focus, taps that ball a couple of times and serves. Beautiful, elegant return from Venom. And it's long with the counter game. from Daniel. 
He will settle once again, so it's 12 serving 17. Daniel again into the net. The shot is not there, shakes his head. 12 serving 18, we know 18 serving 12 as Venom takes over the service. And also you have a little water break with his father, which he didn't. Eighteen serving twelve. Quick service by Venom. Goes to the back arm. Barely caught the corner of the court there. There's Daniel. Daniel sizes up the forearm drive, which is powerful. Question answer by Venom. Nineteen serving twelve. That one was just the way. And I agree. I agree. Question I, I think, I think the, the crowd is um, being a little bit mean tonight. You know, you have to be honest in, in the tennis arena because you want to see the game go well instead of so it's no venom with the back arm trading back arms at the moment venom kept quiet daniel watching that one go along 13 so it's 19 serving 13. two more points needed for venom to wrap up this opening game it's been a testing opening game so far and as daniel gets warmed up trading back arm no daniel looking Flew it in the back arm, and then spoils the forearm. 20 serving 13. Looks like Venom is going to seal the first game. Nope. Got ambitious there, the Venom. Tried to go for the big shot to end it. He's feeling it right now. He thinks that he has the measure of the big man. Well, Venom here is playing with brain. Venom know that one, <clears throat> each time Anton play one, the shots so you only get one point for it and that so. is why there just to cut you short long there from daniel so there it is that mark venom griffith takes the opening game of the three best of five set 21 13. your assessment of that opening game mr lashley i see the um scores is asking to do some a question You were saying there's no damage? Well, we were talking about the opening game of the set. Tell your assessment of where you think Daniel perhaps went wrong? Well, I, I think Daniel come to play too, um, too safe. You do not play too safe when you, you know you have the, the, the gun in your hand. You're supposed to attack the ball. You don't come here to play safe. That's the Venom tennis. Venom is a safe player. You're the player that plays the shots with the crowd and everything. Keep warming up. Get your body hot and play a shotgun game and look to win the first game. I don't see any defender winning a, a, a first game with any attacker. Well, if he was conservative in the first, I uh, assume that the second is going to be laced with a lot of spectacular showmanship. And we know that he has the ability to pull off some amazing shots. So let's wait and see what the second game of the three best of five will produce. Will produce uh, we want to say good evening once again to our Facebook family. Mm -hmm. Welcome you to this flight, which is about to take off. I tell you what, <laughs> it's full to capacity. Yes, it's very full, and it's the biggest tournament that we ever had in the history of tennis. And everybody is happy to be here tonight to watch this final. Actually, Michael Jackson is over the other side watching it. He was knocked out from Anton Daniel. So and Daniel will serve now, leading. One love, one all now. Spoils that one. Going for that big forearm. Needs to probably tone that down just a tad bit. Going for it early. Wants to rally and then pick his point of attack. Good forearm from Daniel. Venom upset with himself. Spoiling on that occasion. That's what Daniel have to do. He have to apply some pressure. Stop playing the pat pat game. And, and try to drag his back arm to Venom. So it's two all here in the second game. Quick serve from Daniel. Let's the force his shot there. Again into the net. A lot of unforced errors now. Oh yes, he's just so hitting the ball inside of the net. Three serve in two. This is Daniel. The crowd needed some fireworks. Ask the question if it was out. Ball called in by the cheer up. The ball was good. So this is the back arm now of Daniel. Smooth. Venom 
likewise, asking Daniel to reach for it. Good flowing tennis so far. Nice rally, a minute and change on it. The crowd loving it so far. Oohs and ahs in the background. Daniel not ready to pull the trigger just yet. Flowing tennis. This is the type of tennis that Venom likes to rally long. Daniel choked oh, lovely on the back arm. Venom. Very good rally. And I could tell you, Daniel don't want to go into these rallies all the time because the younger player will go ahead. I could tell you. So three all in the, well, four, seven, three, actually, in the second game. As Venom serves, Daniel with sweeping back arm, then goes cross court and beats his man as it in. Four all. Four, seven, four. Well, so yes, the game is still open. Very open. But Daniel have to win to keep this set alive. Can't, can't let a champion got you down to love. You're not going to win. It's going to be a tough assignment if he allows that to happen. Out called by the line official. Four serving five. So that was very tight on the line and the official was right there calling it out. So Yes, that's why I said to the people that to get the people to go to get some eye tests. That's a backhand winner there from Daniel. It's a lovely Exquisite. shot from him. Just a lot of flair, as I tell you. He's one of the players of the history books. Similar to the same Brian Lara who we watch in cricket. So it'd be Daniel to serve in just a little bit. So six serving four. Daniel sets up now to put a little bit more daylight between himself and his opponent. That oh, is a passing nice shot. shot. Straight Beautiful out shot the cricket textbook. Oh, Extra cover goodness. drive. Feel the level move. Nobody move, nobody get hurt. Peppered with the forearm drive. That was classic. Not a field of move. Where's the count shell when you need one? That's a beautiful shot, I could tell you. A flashback from the cricket days. Straight drive. Then Daniel standing tall. Ball is out though. Called by the line official. Yes, we have two all two guys, two good guys here, Tito and Body Doc. Eight serving four. So Venom down by four points here in this crucial second game. Eight serving four. Daniel settles. Punks his racket now, serves. Quick serve. Then goes down the line. Arcs his shot. Looks to beat his man. Goes for the injection. Countered by Venom. Kept alive. Oh, Is magnificent that a shot. Play oh, from my Anto goodness. Daniel. Me. Did he keep it on? <laughs> oh, my goodness me. Questions asked. But it was away. Very, very, very tight call. The crowd think it was a bit more controversial. It was out. So the call goes in favor of Griffith. But the return was just spectacular. Eight serving five. Daniel serves. Goes long once again. Eight serving six. So here comes the number one seed marching his way back in the second game. Looking to go up by two. Daniel serves. Cheeky little serve. Then comes cross court. Looking to come inside. Messes his mark once again. Seven serving eight. Venom, determined individual. Kudos to him for his focus so far. Goes for the back arm, weak back arm from Daniel. Very quick service game from Venom. Venom looks to beat his man cross court, does so. Nine serving eight. So here it is that Venom comes back to lead. Then he gives one back, nine all. In the second game, serves Nine quickly. This one game. at frenetic pace. The guy's not wasting any time on the service. Daniel looking to flash that back arm. It just isn't working. So it's 10, serving 9. I think Daniel oh. should appeal on that one. Because it went close to the line. 
10 serving night. They move on now. Venom with the backer. Daniel executes the backer and goes for the injection. Good save by Daniel. Good save by Venom. And what a point. That, that was spectacular roll, tennis folks. What a point from Mark Venom Griffin. He slipped, he slid, he fell down. Flat on his rear end, got back up, played the ball, Daniel kept it alive, and then Venom beat him. That is road tennis of high quality, worth the entrance fee. Well, yes, you know, that's where fitness comes into because you can see when a younger player playing an older player and get an injection, and then he went to it, and the older player push it back out. And Venom just show the youth is what ran things in road tennis, the youth of him. To Anton Daniel is different. Well, that was just that was just top class. There, there's no way. I, I felt as if he lost the point when he fell, but he was back up in a flash and played the ball, spun 360, kept it alive, and then beat Daniel. That is that's tremendous. Oh yes, you got You can't put nothing against Venom. Venom is always the number one player, and as I say, if he come up there and play good tennis, at any given night he would beat any player because he have fitness, and that's what you want in world tennis. You have to be fit, especially if you're going three best in five. So right now, this is a bit of a mop-up job as the sweat trickles off the brow of both players. Arms and legs sweating profusely. You know, it's Daniel who will serve. Quick serve. Goes cross court. Speedy shot there. 10 serving 11. Needs to get back quickly into this one. This is Daniel taking his time. Spoils it again. Annoyed with himself. So, 12 serving 12. 10 12. 10 12, rather. And it is Daniel now with the forearm off the top of the net and out. 12 serving 13. 12 serving 13 here in the second game. Both players go to the respective corners. Venom to his dad. Paroch is talking to him. Paroch talking to Daniel. What would you think he was saying? I think he was saying right now, just buckle down. Just don't play too many shots. Just try to get back in the game, and then you can explore your shots. 12 serving 13. That one was long for Venom on the return. So 14. 13 11. 13 11. Daniel going down the line, looks to set up for the pass oh, shot. shot. Body shift. So. Daniel recalibrating, comes to the four, looks a bit long on the back arm. It is. 13 serving, 14 serving, 12. So 14 serving 12. This is Daniel reaching for it. Out call. 15 serving 12. 16 serving 12. It looks as if Daniel has dug himself a hole here. <laughs> Can he escape? Can he get back on level terms? Venom. Passing shot, acute angle, caught the corner of the court. 16 serving 13. Venom serving. Daniel with the backhand push. Looks to go across court. Daniel looks a bit tired and weary and beats his opponent. 13 serving 17. Question asked by Daniel. So it's 14, 13, 16, it will 16 go back. 16 now. 16, 14. 16, 14. Or 14, 16. 14, 7, 13, 16 13, right now. 13, 16. Or 14, 16, I heard it. Let's go call. Fourteen seven sixteen. Daniel settles, serves, goes to the forearm, into the net. 
And it's Venom who's looking pretty good so far. 14, 7, 17. 14, 17. 13, 17. 14, 18. Daniel is crumbling here at this grounds, I could tell you. Mark so Venom Griffith is looking for his second title in the Monarchs. Yep. 15, 7, 18. Good save by Venom. 15, 7, 19. And look, Michael Jackson looks so angry to say that, hey, Daniel, you beat me. You could have let me go through and play Venom because I take. I got more chance than you. 15, 7, 8, another spoil. 20, 7, 15. This is for the two game lead in a three best of five set. Venom gets nice and low. Daniel looked to go cross court again. Annoyed goes for the forearm and punches the net as well. So it's 21, 15 in favor of Anton Daniel, or rather Mark Venom Griffith over Anton Daniel. And already has a two game lead and it's three best of five. Well, that, that's very hard for him to come back as a player his age to come back from two love down with a younger player who's rallying a lot of balls. What that set have now done to him is to push him further and further away from this third set, I can tell you. Well, you can see the, the problem is clearly he has not found his radar and uh, is not working correctly. He's not been managing to put on some of those big shots that we know he has. He's straight to go for that punishing for him. It is not working. The coordinates are just not there. I tell you, Venom played with a lot of head tonight. You know, he didn't come out here looking to play all the shots. He know that once Anton shots is not working, he knows that this is a this is a time to win a curve because once a type of tennis is not working on that night, he cannot beat the defender. His tennis have to be working. Well, it's all or nothing now. This is the crucial third. If Venom can pull it off here, he's gonna be sitting pretty with some brand new wheels. This day, that's the back arm there from Daniel. Long again. Love serving one. Venom sensing he has his man on the ropes. Daniel again into the net. Two. Serving love. Here in the crucial third. Long again from Daniel. Two serving one. Rather the call is against Griffith. Three serving one. No. This Daniel with the back arm. And then beats his man, simple shot. Hello. Three serving three. Yeah. And Daniel with the back arm. Griffith four. Looks long. Three all. Back arm. Okay. Okay. So there's an infringement there for a number of the spectators. Calling out when it really is not out. Three serving three. So the replay of the point. It's Daniel with the back arm. Venom just off the top of the net and out. Four serving three. It's Venom of the upper hand. Two up, two games. Quick points accumulated here from Daniel. Trying to get back on. Momentum. Good injection. Oh, that's a deadly. Injection from Daniel. Oh my goodness me. Daniel's expression on his face doesn't believe that, you know, um, his points that he played tonight, that the crowd is, the, the scores is giving, giving him a bad call sometimes, you know. Make these players start to sell and then they move on and, and get beat more easily. But he has to try to refocus here. If he's really going to keep in contention, that was a wicked forearm drive there from Venom. And Anton got all tangled up. The 
back arm now of Venom. Daniel looks also casual. Anton doesn't ready to pull the trigger. Oh, lovely Good rally. Five, seven, six. Five, seven, six. It's the forearm drive again from Anton. Just isn't finding it. Six all. Venom will serve. This one here for all the marbles. And it beats Anton Daniel, who looks dejected at the moment. Seven serving six. Well, you have to realize that most of these defenders, when they hit a ball, sometimes you don't see it. Because most of these defenders actually will hit a ball when you're not at least expect that they're going to hit a ball like that one. You know, he, he didn't expect to hit a ball like that at this time of the game. But Venable. Eight serving six, as I mentioned before earlier. Confidence we were talking is, about the ability. Confidence is growing. Confidence is growing. And we talk about his ability to play defensively and still have some measure of attack. And Daniel really off his rocker. Tough going. Trouble time. Six serving nine. That was a lovely shot. That should be easy point now. Venom who was floored momentarily. Seven serving nine. Oh yes, Anton would not give up, but you know, tonight it surely sees that Venom is in the winning chair. Well, good passing shot there momentarily from Daniel. Take more than that to win. He's got to continue to pound Venom with those forearms, but Venom has been able to keep the ball in play, and that's what really I think has been the difference. He's been able to counter that with a return, and somehow Dan has found himself in a tangle after that. Doesn't know which way to go, north, south, east, or west. Well, as I say, you're playing the number one player tonight. You have to come out with, your, with everything working for you because this youngster called Mark Venom Griffith, he is the most strongest road tennis player on the earth right now, and he's proven it. He said to the guys, I'm going to let you win the small tournaments, but when it comes to the cars and the 10s and the 12s, you're not going to win it. And Jackson now is on the bench thinking, well, at that time too, he would have a chance here with Venom because for the last three innings that he and Venom meet, he beat Venom. Again. Which was small prices. Now this is a big price Jackson lost. So sad. So Daniel really in a bind right about now. He's hit that advertising board multiple times. Now he's just not there Daniel trying to conjure up some kind of points here what can he do Venom with the back arm Daniel keeping the play and that was a passing shot too as Daniel looks at his footwear as to indicate that there was a slip on his leg So, nine serving 12. Or 12 serving nine is. I mean, sometimes these fellows that come to watch the game should really show the. 13 serving the security, nine. Security, the respect that you have. You have to be quiet, remember, that so the players are trying to concentrate. Monarchs of the titles. Here's a backhand from Venom. Goes to the forearm, punching at four, trying to move it, comes off the net. 13 serving 10. It's very good playing. So Anton has all to play for. If he can win this one, he can prolong this matchup. But it isn't looking too positive. He's not been able to find his mark on this, the 15th of October 2016. And a major title of the year. Good passing shot. 11 serving 13. So Daniel to serve now. Can he win the points now on his service? Comes inside, goes past his opponent. Just away. 11 
Serving so sad for any player to win a point like that and the scores call it out. Very sad. Once again, into the net. 12 serving 15. Daniel into the net. I think what's happening there, the ball has not kept low, has not been in his arc. You can see the ball is popping on him and he's trying to get as tall as possible to punch that for him. It's not work. He's got himself in a tangle each and every time. So it should be 16. Serving. 13, 13 serve 16. 13, 7, 16 as we wait for the chair ump to change a battery. 13, 7, 16. I have a bit of a cleanup job as well on the side of both players. So while all that has happened, your assessment of the openings, two games, I'm sure Daniel has not really looked himself tonight. What has happened? Well, as I say, every spoiling, uh, got a heavy spoiling rip. It's not going to be easy beating Mark Venom over the night. You know, you have to be able to be attacking the shots coming on. Right now, the shots is going more in the net and out than on the court. So he'll, he'll be in trouble. And right now, at this level, where he's going actually to the third set, I think I give Venom this game three straights. It's not going to catch bad Venom. Yeah, it, it looks a bit too ominous right now at the moment. You can see that. Not sure if Venom really came up with a better game plan. It's just a matter of this Daniel's in off his game. Well, Venom always have a plan. He always have a plan each player he plays. He's one of the most smartest world tennis players out. You know that once Daniel come here and hit, hit, hit the ball all the time, you know? So he'll be going out. 17 serving 13 Daniel really looks bewildered out in the wilderness he doesn't have that same mojo we saw in the semis maybe his best role tennis was played in the semi-final has to be said this is Daniel now with the flowing forearm backarm there of Venom looks immaculate gets nice and low to the court stretch there was Venom and then Anton Daniel going for the backhand drop shot misses his mark and that gives Venom just four I think the crowd is leaving some of the people is leaving now they realize that once Venom in that winning chair it's not going to be easy beating him and 18 this, serving 14 oh yes this is what happened at the time when Michael Jackson had um, Anton 10 too the crowd was walking out then when they wake up in the morning they heard, you heard a different answer. story yeah well let's wait and see if there's the same script but this is a different cast folks this is the number one seed versus the number three you can see the quality of the number one seed daniel stretching venom venom able to keep it on oh, and daniel spoils it it's a magnificent power of concentration two steps from the seven time grand slam this is venom Daniel this time with a passing shot, delayed inevitable. So 19 serving 15, just two away from taking home that lovely vehicle sitting in the corner of this venue. Worth at $60,000 is Venom who goes pressing the initiative. 50 serving 20. Game, set, match, point right now. 15, serving, 20. He serves and 16, serving, 20. Can he come back from here? Anton Daniel, not sure. Is it too late? The ball up to be long. Daniel wins the shot with a beauty going across court. You blink, you missed it. And look at the crowd, those faces eager to see this one come to an end. This is forearm drop shot there from venom daniel scampers back as well there you have it mark venom griffith winner of the bonus of the court road tennis competition 2016
a grand prize worth sixty thousand dollars. He is the owner of a brand new vehicle, defeated Anton, defeated Anton Little Man Daniel in three straight and an epic showdown. What a performance there from Mark Venom Griffith. Yes, and all the indeed we are going to have a word with the champ. Outstanding road tennis played so far. The keys to the vehicle will be handed over to the number one seed. He came, he saw, he conquered. He you cannot deny his quality, his ability. He was immaculate Venom tonight. Such a wonderful game. He played uh, tremendous road tennis, to the finals, kept I'm his sure composure. He is and now one. he is a winner the of the top prize. The group. We're going to um, slip Ken in and get a quick word with him pictures. in just a moment we or two. But he's been congratulated by the many supporters here. History. And they indeed, you on Facebook, you've seen it first. Stand. Venom, Patrick. we're going to get as close to him Very as possible. To he's going to try to make his way over to the vehicle. And I'm sure we're going to get two words in with him. He's got the biggest prize ever here in the history of road tennis. Mark Venom Griffin. It's a phenomenal feeling here today. And I want to thank the Barbados Public Workers, all the sponsors on board, the Professional Road Tennis Association, the fans, everyone here that made it all possible. I love you guys. Thank you. So, those at home on the radio, streaming live on Facebook, all over the globe, I love you guys. Venom has arrived. How would you rate this victory overall? To be honest, Antoine is one of my fiercest rivals, and it always make sure I have to put myself both mentally and physically to face Antoine. He came here tonight, I believe he was a bit fatigued from playing Julian in the semi-finals, but taking nothing away from him, I decided to come here and play tonight. What was the plan? All of his class. Well, as I said in the papers, my plan A was to put on the ball. If plan A failed, my plan B was to put on more balls. And that I did. I'm not giving him a shot. Let you go and enjoy your victory. Okay, then, thanks a lot. Thanks to you, sir. All right, we got Mark Venom. We're going to get Mark just as close as possible to our television screens. Uh, for the people on the internet to get a quick look at him. You come this way with me. We're going to a brief look at the world champ right about now. The number one seed coming through in spectacular fashion. We get close as possible to your position. And he is the winner of the $60,000 vehicle. Compliments to sponsors as well. Thanks so much to Barbados Public Workers, Corporate Credit Union, Limited Models of the Court. Congratulations right around all the family here to take in the occasion. And we're going to wait for Mark Griffith to come on over and receive his keys to the brand new vehicle. I'm sure it's tremendous performance on the night defeating a big time player in Anton Lilman Daniel. We're going to get a word with Daniel in just a bit. But we're going to wait and see Venom can make his way over to our cameras in two minutes or so. They're going to steal it for two minutes to come over to the camera because he is being congratulated by everyone in this arena. And Venom, Venom, Venom is going to make his way over to the camera. We're going to get as close as possible so the people in TV land can see him. Right now, we've got the man of the moment, Mark Venom Griffith. Those of you who were online, you watched him play. He's just been mobbed by everyone here in the arena, but Mark Van Griffith, congratulations once again. You did it in three straight. This is not what many people will have written in their script. They would have said, this is going to go five. What did you do different today? Well, honestly, I prepared myself mentally and physically. I always told myself, even during warming up, make sure you go three straights. I had a meeting yesterday at Carlton Air One, and Sam Wilkinson was there, and he told me, Venom, three games and come off of the court. I want to thank Sam and everyone else that believed in Venom here tonight and all over in the Facebook, on the internet, in the international globe, all over Barbados. Thank you. It means a lot to me for anyone that always believes in me and I believe in you guys as well. Thank you so much. Well, what did you do different to prepare for this one? Because every time a major comes around, you seem to be in peak form of condition. How do you keep yourself you know, fit and ready for all these majors? Well, to be honest, early in the year, um, 
Julia Michael Jackson what he took me out three times out of the Burger King finals I realized that I was winning a bit too much I was winning 165 pounds and I'm usually a guy that wears around 150 155 anywhere around there so I did a lot of beats training thanks to Adrian Best I did a lot of um, physicals down at Deacon's Resource Center um, in the sauna I played continuously even Anthony Simmons back who told me that I was a bit overweight and I realized that and Thanks to all those again that make sure that they keep an eye on me and they keep on the right path because sometimes it's very hard to do so. How do you feel you won a vehicle? This is the first time in the history of road tennis in Barbados, a vehicle worth $60,000. You're going to put some rims on it, you're going to drive around the community, what are you going to do? Well, to be honest, I'm not even sure what I'm going to do, but I'm going to tell you this. I looked at my um, driver's license today and I realized that I was outdated. <laughs> so I have to go and renew my license before I can even take about the car, but honestly, I haven't even looked at the cars yet. I was just more focusing on the match because that had to come first. And now we could finally go and look at the car for the first time. Thank you so much, Mark Benham Griffith, and continue the good work. Okay, then. Thank you, sir. And thanks again to everyone that supported me, and even the Antoine fans, and the Jackson fans, and the Curtis fans, and everyone that came out and made it all possible. Thank you again. So there you have it, the words of Mark Benham Griffith, the number one seed coming through, prevailing against the number three seed, Antoine Lilman, Daniel, in spectacular fashion, three straight. You can't say enough about him. He is top class performer in this indigenous sport of road tennis. He walks away with the grand prize of a brand new vehicle worth $60,000. Congratulations as well to Kim Holder, who won the ladies' competition, 15 grand in her pocket as well. This is road tennis action from the old BT Sports uh, Club here in Wildey. What a performance. Venom. So we've got Dale Clark, who's the organizer of this big competition, Professional Road Tennis Association, who's the president of the Professional Road Tennis Association. Sir, you've put on one of the biggest road tennis events in the history of Barbados. The grand prize of vehicle worth $60,000. Mark Venom Griffith takes it home in three straight. Did you write this script? Unfortunately, no. <laughs> They'll probably charge me for inside the trading. But everyone keeps saying that Deal, deal. It's not me, it's my team. I'm blessed with a wonderful team. Everyone pulled their weight, they made sacrifices to make this tournament a success it is. And it would not have been the success it is without the contribution from you, the media, and also the spectators and fans that came out here in the numbers every night to, you know, support our indigenous sport. How much people do you think were, were here tonight to witness this final estimation? 
Honestly, I did not share. I was so tired. <laughs> um, you know, you have the fatigue set in. You know, after working so hard for three weeks to, you know, put together with our team to get this production. No, you, you've got a vehicle involved. No, a lot of players are going to expect this thing to keep raising. No, you, you've set the standards so high. What's next for the PRTA? I mean, in terms of organizing this event, what can we expect in 2017? Well, what we're looking at for 2017 is to get um, players from the regional, our original players. We're looking to get players from the Caribbean. Shortly, we'll be starting that tour where we're going to be going and playing qualifiers. For this tournament, where when you win in your island, you're qualified to come and play here. And we're also going to be doing the same rolling out in the international um, cities. We're going to New York, Florida, Miami, Tampa Bay. Then we're going to do um, some projects in the UK, Germany, France as well. Spectacular. Well, we want to thank you so much, Dale. Once again, an outstanding tournament being put on by yourself in the PRTA. And right. kudos. <laughs> That's not exactly true because without the sponsors, none of this would have been feasible. So I want to say a heartwarming thanks to the Barbados Public Workers Corporate Credit Union Limited for, you know, banning the division and saying where we want to take road tennis because, as I said, we aspire for this sport to be the number one racket sport in the world and we are not going to stop. We are going to keep pushing and pushing until it is. Fantastic. Thanks so much, sir. Thanks, buddy. All right, there you have it. It's Dale Clark, who is the president of the PRTA. We're going to take a look at this wonderful vehicle, which uh, Mark Van Griffith is going to be driving off in just a bit. Let me take you on a little bit of a tour. Nice looking Hyundai. Blue, my favorite color as well. Looks pretty good. Uh, as we heard Venom alluded to earlier, that he's got to get his license started out, but nonetheless, it's going to be uh, parking in his garage at the end of the night. So a good performance by him to get past Anton Lilman. Daniel is three straight. He really did look the fitter of the two. Daniel just looked completely out of his element. Maybe he produced his best at the semi-final stage. We don't know. We're going to have a word with him in just a moment or two. But this is a look at the spanky new machine here that Venom is going to be driving home. $60,000 worth. Wow. In 2016, this is what professional tennis players are going to be going after. So when he hits the road, he's going to hit the road as not only a champion in road tennis, but sitting in a champion vehicle as well. You can see the trophies on hand as well for the various winners in the categories. Remember, we had some of the juniors involved in road tennis earlier tonight. We also had the ladies uh, finalist, Kim Holder. Congratulations to her. And you can see that there's three other trophies in there as well. We had the 6 to 10 category coming through. And uh, I can tell you that... the prizes don't stop here we've got another major coming away in just a few more weeks and i'm sure you're going to keep you informed of everything that has transpired but nonetheless the focus is here on the bt uh, sports complex where mark ben have just defeated anton little man down in three straight it was perhaps not the final we had anticipated in our brain but it worked out quite nicely for griffith who stole the show came in really focused and as he said before he's been preparing and he's rearing and ready to go so the rest of the year is all his to go after in terms of the titles and we'll wait and see how this one pans out but for now we're gonna stick with the action and then we're gonna make a few turns and catch up with the the man who lost in the final anton little man daniel so you see the crowd is assembling we're gonna get try to see if we get close to anton in just a few but other than that it's going to be a wrap uh, for our broadcast. And we do hope you enjoyed our coverage, our Facebook family and what's not. And indeed, it has been an outstanding night. As the photo ops keep going, everybody wants a Facebook picture or Instagram post with the new champ. And we want to say once again, congratulations to Mark Benegriff of winning in three straight against Anton Lilman Daniel. So from the BET Sports Club, on behalf of the entire crew, uh, who has made this possible, our crew at CMC and all the sponsors indeed. It is high time we punch our ticket to leave the facility. Congratulations to Mark Benengriffe once again, a champion of the Barbados Public Workers Cooperative Credit Union Limited Monarchs of the Court competition for 2016. For now, it's goodbye.